So it's time to look in the mirror and really be honest with yourself. You know that there's something nudging at you. You know you have a voice in your head that's telling you that you can get to the next level. You know that you are supposed to be doing the thing, right? Doing the research, reading the book, getting in the gym, eating better. You know that there's something nudging at you to do that, right? So what I want to talk about here is how you can actually start to make the changes to transform. So there's a beautiful book that you got to get today, right? When you get off this video, go right over to Amazon and get, you can actually, I'll link it down below, get the power of habits. Okay. The power of habits at the power of habits. They have it on audible and you can read it. So you're going to want to start to do things that are going to get you to that next. It's, it's 2023. Like how many more, how many more years is it going to be next week, next month? after this event, after this birthday, after I get married, after I have the kid, after the kids won, after the kids 10, after I finish this year out with my job, after it's like, if you, are you, are you being nudged to start the YouTube channel? Are you being nudged to start to share your journey where you can transform lives by sharing your journey? Are you, are you supposed to start that side business that you've been wanting to start for years? Are you amazing at cooking? Are you amazing at fixing cars? Are you amazing at shoe reviews are you amazing at hair skin and nails like and but you're stuck in this corporate job and you're like you know again this is not for anyone that is happy with their nine to five because there is there are people i specifically know them and they love their nine to five job and they're wonderfully happy and they love the structure and it works for them and their lifestyle but you know if you're somebody that is being nudged to stretch yourself. If you're being nudged to get form other forms of income, if you are being nudged to get out of the job that you hate, right? So whatever it is, it's like there, it has to do with our habits. It has to do with the way that we are spending our minutes on the planet. Number one, definitely do the research. And actually two, these really help me. So the power of habits and atomic habits, those two, you need to get immediately today. So you can click the links down below. It'll take you straight to it and it will massively transform your life that day. Like you will learn things in those two books that will give you an awareness and it really, really will expand your scope of like, okay, wow, I can actually change that right now. I can get that out of my view right now. I can take that out of my cupboard right now. I can put my shoes by the front door. There is, it's gotta do the thing. Like that's, that's just all I'll say. So who am I? Why do I even feel like I can I can do this? Because I I am currently on the journey too, right? So years ago I quit my job, um, a job that I hated, and have been on this journey of really discovering what I want to do. And really the whole what I wanted to do was hovering there the whole time, but I just didn't want to actually start start to do it, right? Which is this YouTube. So training and developing people has always been something that's really been a part of my life since I was a kid. I was always in leadership positions and things like that, but. I would, I've, I've had millions of conversations, like not millions, but you know, hundreds of thousands, it feels like of conversations of where I've helped people discover something. I've, I've helped people unlock something inside of them. I've helped people motivate them to go after their dream or whatever. And they're like, you really should start a YouTube or you really should, you know, have a coaching business or you really should do that. And I'm like, okay, yeah, I know. Or the, and I just was like, just press on. Like, if you look at my other videos on YouTube, you will see literally me in the car talking about like health, fitness and mindfulness. And I'm just like in the car, you know, like looking wild on the way to my workouts with my trainer. And it just didn't matter because I just went for it, right? Like I just started the habit because what it was is even though the quality is terrible, what I was talking about probably wasn't really that impactful, but it what mattered was that I just was building the habit of speaking on camera, right? So sometimes we're overthinking things. Like we're like, well, when we get this, when we get the right camera, when we get the right lighting, like I got this from Amazon for $30. I actually got, I got two of them. One of them went out already. <laughs> and I'm just like, whatever, I'm gonna still do the video because it was cheap, but it was actually pretty decent if it were, if if both of them were to stay on. So this one's, this one's been holding me down. So we'll, 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 we'll take it. But it's like, it doesn't have to be that serious. Like go on your phone, Press on whatever, or if, if it's starting a business, buy a book that, if it's about plumbing, you want to start your own plumbing business, buy the book today about plumbing, start it tomorrow, right? Start promoting yourself online, getting clients tomorrow. Start talking about what you're doing, word of mouth, get clients tomorrow. It's like, it doesn't have to be that serious. Even with me, I also, like I wanted to write an ebook about like what I do to lose weight. 
People would always ask me all the time. And so I, let me write an ebook, but it like took me a year to write a 40 page ebook that when I look back at it, I'm like, I could have did that in one weekend. And just because my mind was like having me live in these limiting beliefs of like, oh, well, I need this or, oh, I need a, I don't know. Like it was just, I was just coming up with reasons to not do it where I, all I had to do was just like start writing, like take my fingers and just start writing down what I do. I was writing it in the DMs to all these people that I went to college with or, or high school with, or, you know, that I worked with were like, oh, well, how'd you lose 10 pounds? How'd you lose 15 pounds? I'm just trying to lose 20 pounds. And I was like, oh, there's the ebook right there. And I could have just organized it, put it in on Canva. I, that's what I did. I put on Canva. I, I was like, how do you even copyright something? Cause some of them, some of the concepts in the book are, are my ideas. Co looked up how to do a copyright, looked it up, called the copyright office. How do I talk to somebody? They're like, oh yeah, you just press submit, fill out this application. I did that, paid the fee. How, how do you upload a Canva ebook? Went on YouTube. It's like, you just gotta go for it. Okay, so you just gotta like get out of your mind, get out, get out of your like. And I'm talking again. I'm talking to you if there's something nudging at you. Okay, there's something nudging at you. It's like there's something you want to talk about. There's something you want to go after. There's a trip that you want to go on. There's the weight that you want to lose. There is, you know, you want to learn about investing, but investing is you know it just feels intimidating. You want to start a YouTube. You want to, but you're too scared about what people are thinking. Or, okay, well I gotta you know first. First, let me lose 20 pounds, then I'll start the YouTube. Or first, let me lose 20 pounds and then I'll start the business. But then it's like, you don't ever lose 20 pounds and then you don't ever start the business because you're supposed to lose 20 pounds, but then you don't lose 20 pounds because you don't have good habits that are gonna literally beautifully pave the way for you to get your results. So it's the habits that I built. I just took the effort, found intrinsic value in it, right? In some intrinsic meaning, something that was gonna propel me forward and push me to do the thing from the inside. It couldn't have been something from the outside. And I think that's where a lot of us go wrong. We are, we're relying on someone on YouTube to motivate us, but then we watch 10 YouTube videos for the whole day. And we, we could have just actually watched one and then spent the other 10 hours of the day doing the thing, whatever it is supposed to be. Right. Or we'll say, oh, well, I really need that person to, to give me a, a good talking to, and then I can go after it. But that person's not available. They're on vacation or they're not picking up their phone. You got to figure out what is driving you on the inside intrinsic value, because that's, what's going to get you to do the hard things like building discipline or when you want to get up early but it just feels super warm and cozy to just stay in bed right or when you want to buy the cookies the intrinsic thing that's driving you is going to make you put it back and not walk down the cookie aisle anymore so you got to first first sit down and write out what is intrinsically motivating you to do certain things now with the two books there's things that are good for us but then there's also things that breaking us down and we don't even realize it so again it's like something as simple as like having a visual so visual cues are huge like half the time we don't even want to really like do something until we see it and we're like oh it's, it's like it's like a for example like it, you may not have even been craving mcdonald's but then on your way home you saw like three mcdonald's signs and you're like oh it's okay i'll just get some fries like it's not a big deal i'll just like work it off tomorrow right and then you're like dang that put me back after you eat them you you so you you know you're hungry and you're gonna get the satisfaction of Ooh, I had this like dopamine hit and my endorphins are going off from eating this yummy, tasty fried food. But in the middle, like you could have actually had the feeling of a dopamine hit, but it didn't have to come from fries. But because you saw the visual cue of the fries, it gave you the dopamine hit. But then what did it do? It brought you right down after. Whereas you could have a visual cue of your fruit that you packed for yourself ahead of time. You see it. And you're like, ooh, I'm hungry, visual cue, I'm gonna get the dopamine hit from my eating my favorite fruit and it's gonna bring me up. So that's that's really what like the book, it teaches you different methods and tricks and, and, and different strategies to help you identify some of these things. There was a really good example in The Power of Habits where it was talking about like people that bite their fingernails and how the girl was saying in the book, she would bite her fingernails because it would give her some kind of relief. So, there would be something that would trigger her and then she would want the relief. But then the path to the relief was biting her fingernails. So it was like, okay, well, what 
what can we change here? So the visual cue, the, the, the craving, the craving is going to always be there. And the feeling that you want to fulfill is going to be there. So the craving is going to feel, you have the craving and then you have what's going to satisfy that craving. But this part right here is what has to change the part in the middle. Okay. So in order to feel relief, can you get a massage? Can you get better sleep? Can you, so in the book, she ended up like realizing, oh, so she, I think it was like every single time she went to go bite her nails, she had to put like a, like a little like mark on like a, like a cue card, like a, just like take a, take a pin and just do a check. And then she would notice, oh, well, I do it every single time I'm, you know, getting stressed out at work. She would want a relief. So it was like, okay, well, can I replace having to bite my nails? Because I want, it's the relief that I want. And the biting the nails is what's giving me the relief. So what can I do? So her checking on the, on the cue card was actually showing her visually like, oh, wow, I really get stressed out and, it, and it's always happening when I'm at work. So can it, and to be honest, sometimes guys, it's, it's like we need to do life changing things like get a new job. <laughs> because if your job is making you buy, tear off your fingers to have relief, like you might need to literally take a step back and get a new job or maybe talk to, to your boss about taking some of the the load off or maybe you might need a different position. Like sometimes like it needs to be a massive change, but those little tiny habits, so just the habit of her checking it. And so she would still bite her nails, but she would, she would do a check mark. But then it gave her a visual like to see like, okay, wow, this is, I can now see where I'm being triggered to feel the relief. Okay. I have the craving to feel the relief, but okay, what can I do that's different? Right. So instead of the craving, instead of, instead of um, biting her nails, it's like, oh, I can just take a 10 minute walk to get some relief. Or instead of doing that, I can eat like a healthy snack. Like I can have, you know, my, my carrots and just like take a, take a five minute break, go in the break. You know, so there's different things you can do, but you'd be surprised with, those tiny things make massive transformation in, in your life, but we might need something in the, in the meantime to just help us keep track. So, you know, again, I'm probably butchered that story. I hope you understand what I'm talking about, but those two books you've got to get. And if you are not being nudged to do something and you just feel like you can't figure out how to get over the hurdle of just doing it, it's probably because of your habits. And if the habits are in place, it's like, you don't even think, like you don't even think, like for example, my workout outfits are in one drawer. Are It's like I have a sports bra, um, matching bottoms, my socks, and my shoes are already by the front door. So when I am, I work out five days a week, I do two days of glute training, I do two days of cardio kickboxing, and then I do one day of yoga, and I walk every single day, seven days a week. So. Because my shoes are at the front door, I don't have to worry about the shoes. My gym bag is always packed no matter what. And every single Sunday, I just take, I put on a nice podcast. You could watch Netflix. You could be talking on the phone. And I set up my fitness clothes. So that way, the seven minutes that people usually take to like figure out what they're going to wear to even go to the gym, it's like already done in seven seconds for me. Like I don't even have, I just, I go like this, pick up my outfit and put it on. So... It's like that habit that I that I incorporated is like setting me up for success. Like I don't even have to think about it, right? Like it's not like a conscious thing. I'm just like, oh, there's my drawer. So I mean, I guess it's just like, it's like now it's so fluid that I just know where it's in the second drawer and I just go right to it. And it's just like driving a car. Like you want to start to set up systems and, and implement different strategies in your life to where you're doing them like you're drive, how you drive a car. Like you don't think about oh, my right foot pushes on the gas and it needs to push on the brake. And when I'm backing up, like when you've been driving for 10, 50, it's like sometimes you get to places, you're like, how did I even get there? <laughs> like that's what you want. You want us to, so how you drive a car is how you want to start setting up every, like things in your life that are going to be on autopilot. And then you have so much more, willpower to think about other things that you want to massively change in your life, like starting the business, building generational wealth, da, 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 da. But if those tiny things in your life are just like bogging you down, slow down, start with those, get them streamlined and then build, build upon that. Right. 
So that's what I do now. Like that, that small change made me more motivated to stay consistent with my workouts. Like I don't even think about the consistency because I just already know what I'm going to wear. I already know the workouts that I'm going to do for the week. And again, I'm not like so strict to wear room for flexibility and resiliency or it's not like it has to be, oh my gosh, everything's so military. You just want to do, want to have some kind of system in place to where most of the time the probability of you executing is higher because you have the system in place. So that's what I want to talk about. I want to promote those two books. I don't know these guys. It's just two books that have heavily, heavily impacted my life. There's some amazing examples in the two books. So again, Atomic Habits and The Power of Habits, and that will get you on track. So don't just watch like a million, like you can watch, I'm, I'm thankful if you've watched the video up until this point. Get the book and do the work. Don't watch another YouTube video until a week from now when you've actually been putting in things into action. Because sometimes we can get so motivated by like watching things that are motivating from extrinsic that a week, two weeks, a month has gone by and then we just haven't done it. Like we haven't actually like learned to do the thing or like put the project together or start to write the book or start planning the trip of our dreams or start. Sometimes like we need to learn different tactics and ways to get to the next step, but then but you actually want to put the steps into action. And then once you start putting into action the avalanche of just the 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 momentum of you actually doing the actions. It then like first it's like this it's like a boulder you like start to like try to push it and it's like oh it's heavy. All of a sudden the boulder gets going and you can't even get it to stop anymore. For me, the fitness boulder is 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 I don't even know where it is. It's like in another galaxy. It's never stopping. It's like it's into the next universe because my habits are so a lot, like they're so embodied with who I am that the boulder has so much momentum. My fitness boulder, my nutrition boulder for me wanting to get better and better, learn more and more is in such fast momentum that I couldn't even slow it down if I wanted to. The only, the only time it's going to get slowed down is when God decides to have me be back with the divine. That's, that's it. <laughs> you know, I plan on that being way after I'm 100, but that's when the boulder will stop is my point. So if you're feeling me, definitely like, comment, share. I would love to hear your thoughts on this. Um, I talk a lot about health, fitness, and mindfulness. Check out my links down below. You can find me on Instagram, TikTok, other locations, but this is, this is your push. This is your push to do the thing, start the project, start the dream, bring the dream into reality, start writing, start taking notes, Start cutting off those people in your life that are holding you back. Change the job, change the clothes, change the food that you're eating, change the type of drinks you're eating from getting hammered every weekend to actually going on hikes and drinking green juice, at least incorporating that a couple times a, a month. Start. This is your video that's gonna encourage you to just start, okay? If you're vibing with me, make sure to comment, make sure to like. I have a ton of other videos that talk about health, fitness, and mindfulness in this way. So definitely tap in with me. You could see, you could see there's videos of me just a few months ago talking only in my car and I'm, I need to build better habits of like making better quality videos so people can actually feel motivated to watch the whole video. So we're on the same journey and that's really all I have. I hope you guys are vibing with me. If you are, make sure to like, subscribe, share, and I'll talk to you on the next one. Bye.